welcome. Uh, every year I, I go through a, a paint repair ritual, so to speak. And the reason why I decided I'd do this, we have a contest next weekend and I figured that I would bring it up to snuff. Last year it did win a uh, Spirit of 62 award and it did win the concourse for classic down in Paducah but flying it in another contest I took a couple points hit on appearance because the leading edge was starting to show wear where where the uh, the blue was being rubbed through so I decided that this is Sunday so it's kind of my day to, to work on my stuff you know I spend all day Sunday on my stuff because <clears throat> I have so many other projects going on but I figured that I would do just a little bit of paint repair because the painting season is starting to come back the weather's getting better uh, and I have these other projects that I need to finish painting clearing so I'm cleaning the shop up to get ready for that so what we're doing here is is uh, I've taken in uh, 600 listening to Wendy in the background there 600 did the uh, the leading edge down wipe it down with Windex and uh, kind of get all the all the uh, oh we got a lot of over <laughs> a lot of splatter there blue splatter but I'm gonna repair all the color on this airplane first off as most know, I this is my favorite airplane. It flies really well. It's uh, 49 ounces, so it's a good weight. So I figured that I'd bring it back to its original. its original shape. I also noticed on the propeller, I painted the propeller white last year, the paint is starting to, to come up. That's not a, that's not too far of a stretch. I can just change out the propeller to a regular wood one and not take a hit there, but I'll probably end up stripping the propeller and redoing it as well. Any of the, you know, the hanger rash that it might have got in the last year and a half. I built, I built it last year, I believe. It's, uh, it's in my YouTube channel. The complete build. It only took, uh, I think it was 41 days to do start to finish. Of course, I wasn't working on anybody's projects but my stuff then. These are just, uh, you know, I thought I'd share with you what I'm doing on this to bring it back. We'll rub, touch, <laughs> touch up, whatever, any of the, uh, any of the areas that need uh, attention. If you look right here, it's, I must not have got enough blue paint on it or not because it's starting to get light on the leading edge right here as well. I Because where I pick it up at, I put my thumb there or whatever, rubbing the uh, the clear off down to the, to the white. But this time around, I, I probably won't worry about this one this one here because I can't see enough white in it yet. We'll let it go another year. I'm uh, 
I was going to take the other airplane to Brodax, but I'll probably take this one as well. And the reason for that is, is you can fly a couple of different classes with it. You can, I could fly Classic or I can fly Pampa with it. And I'm not going to get too excited about <laughs> winning at Brodax with this. There's just so many good guys that go Falco and I don't know, Joe Gilbert. Just go to have fun. So, basically, that's what we got there. We'll get the, uh, this is the Hobbyco tape. We're going to give this a try. Instead of the blue fine line. Now, somebody had wrote me and said that it doesn't work as good, but I think it does. It works just fine for way less money. <clears throat> this is $3 a roll. And Blue Fine Line is $11 a roll. <laughs> You choose. I will never buy fine line tape again. I think it's made by the same people, if you ask me. I would say if you're a body man, and you're doing cars or motorcycle paint jobs and you're concerned about the the cost of material tower hobbies so there we have that I mean, this this job, doing this, you know, I sometimes I wait till the week before the nationals to touch my airplanes up. I'm just doing this to give me a small break from. woodwork and other people's paint jobs and as I stated I, I need to, to get the place cleaned up to, to do those other people's paint jobs because we're going to be clearing here in the next few days So what I've done is, is uh, I've sanded the leading edge down to where where it's smooth and the imperfections out of it. Get all the wax and grease off of here. We're just going to paint the whole leading edge instead of trying to touch up one little spot here or there. Guys, uh, for the first part of this video, I went through the assertion of how I sanded this out. and I'm going to try to show it with these two cameras that I have here, but it seems the overhead camera, when I went to save it, the computer crashed. So that's gone. But anyway, I'll give a little recap. I've taped the uh, taped the area to be repaired, and I've sanded it with 600. I just shot a little blue on here. 
to get out some of these uh, areas that were problems. And uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot this now with the blue. and I'll come back and give it another windy coat because this paint is going to be on relatively heavy. I don't want to have to go through this again. I don't know why that it, uh, you know, just kind of bled through in a few spots and the only thing I can think of is that it probably got a drop of fuel on it or whatever and as you wipe it, it uh, just went away. So we're going to protect it real good for the next go around. I'm going to go uh, grab the prop wrench and take this propeller off and uh, put 11 6 EW on it <clears throat> and uh, I won't worry about painting this right away. However, it, it, it does look cool. Nobody nobody does that hardly anymore. This is a reminiscent of the late 60s, early 70s, where everybody painted their propellers. So we'll give it another coat here. Probably going to give it a third one because, like I said, I don't, I don't want to have to go through that again. Huh? We got a camera dying over here for some reason. Not my day with cameras. Yeah, let's see what happens. Hard drive is full. Okay, hard drive is full on that camera. We're going to have to take a break. I'm going to have to clean up the drives and see what goes on here. This is a 32 gig, that's only a 20. Oh boy. We'll give her the third coat with the two cameras and, and uh, go from there and that'll be it. Looks really good. Looks really good. Three coats of the blue. That's all it's going to get for color. We'll go ahead and when it when it dries, I'll sand it with some 1200, and then shoot clear on it <coughs> to protect it from any of the fuel. But uh, then rub it out, of course. And 
so that brings this airplane back to life for another year. You gotta love it when a plan comes together. As George Papard used to say, <clears throat> I don't know, I might redo this side too. <laughs> it doesn't take much to do the job as you as you've seen I <clears throat> even with all the camera debacles that I've had here. I have very little time in this whatsoever. One, the airplane was already finished and all we're doing is touching it up so it doesn't take a whole lot to get it ready so you know it's not like we're shaping or anything. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, Make sure you're a member of Stunhanger. A couple drawings going on. Stunhanger, we got the birthday giveaway that'll happen next weekend. I'll draw that. That's for the Agile Arrow. And then uh, come the 15th of next month, we'll give away Ruggiero Freddy's timer. And it cost you nothing to enter that. Just go on Stunhanger, be a registered member, and uh, and make a post on that thread, and you're entered into the drawing. Make sure you like this. You like my videos. I I still have yet to hit that 30 like mark. I something is supposed to happen at 30 likes. I don't know what it is. But it seems like the same 15 people like the videos. Because that's all I can get is 15 likes. And if you don't think this is a job to do, please give it a whirl yourself. See if you can make some videos. you have it to repair the leading edge. Good as new. So, I'm going to clear the cameras and we'll be back for the next go around. So, uh, until I see you again, fair winds, tight lines. See ya!